welcome to my channel. This is the photo that I'm scrapping today and I'm using uh, mostly pretty much like 95% crepe paper products. So this is part of my series uh, crepe paper Thursday on my channel where I'll just be using crepe paper products. I mean of course I'll be using like a doily here and there or a tag here and there that obviously isn't crepe paper because I don't think crepe paper has doilies. So um, yeah. Uh, that's basically the premise of this series, and I just love Cray Paper products, Maggie Holmes, all that, so that's what I'm doing, and that's what the series, series is all about. So I'm just layering a few of the papers here. Um, I have all of my Maggie Holmes papers together because they just all go so well together, so I figured I might as well store them together. And I try to find some paper that's the color of my shirt in this photo, which is like a burgundy color, but I didn't really have much paper. So I try to work with like pinky, purpley colors. Um, as you can see, that little rose paper that was a cut apart. It's not that close to the color, but it's kind of as close as I could get it. And then I'm just looking through the ephemera pack from the Maggie Holmes carousel collection and I find this gorgeous frame that I'm going to use it has gold sparkles all over it and then I'm trying to find a tag that I want to use and layer so I'm just going through my box of tags and trying to find something so I found this just plain white tag that I'll layer I like to use just light colors and have it light and airy and spacey and I'm going to use this scrap that I actually also used as a background paper. You can barely see it because I ripped it um, intentionally. And I'm going to use it as, there's my cat, as a tab. I love that tab punch so much. I'm trying to figure out where it should go. Um, but I think I, oh no, I do put it on. I thought I put it to the side for a bit. But I find a spot for it, tuck it in somewhere. And then I found this tag that had more of that color pink on it. And so I thought that would be a nice layer. And of course, the doily. And then I'm also, I have this other tag. This is from Tina. She gave me some things from the confetti collection. And so I'm just layering that into, and she put that cute little ribbon on it, which is perfect. And she also gave me these little bits from the confetti collection. So I'm trying to find where I can fit them in. And I kind of turned that one into a tag shape. I cut off the corners and fill in that spot there. Tags are one of my favorite things to layer with tags and doilies and tabs and papers, ripped or cut, either way. In my last video that I did, that the layout that was similar to this kind of minimalistic-ish, um, I did a lot of ripping, but this one I actually didn't do much ripping. I only ripped one paper because I really do like the look of that. And then also in that pack from Tina, she included these little, I don't know what they are, but I don't, they're cute. So I thought I would put them in the top left corner and eventually I do staple them up there. And really I'm just going through all of my Maggie Home stuff, my crepe paper stuff to just see what fits in where and how I can kind of pull it all together. With having that really colorful paper, that, uh, that marble looking one um, that I used for the tab, it brings in a lot of different colors. So it it's, can sometimes be challenging to bring it all together. And then I found another frame that was in the ephemera pack um, for the carousel collection and I cut it in half so I could use it in two different places and that kind of brings in more of the purple so I thought that was really pretty. I really like that frame and then that, uh, that heart is also from the ephemera pack and that button. I might actually buy another one. <laughs> this ephemera pack was really nice. It actually surprised me. I was originally going to buy two and then I, was, I looked at the stuff and I was like, no, nah, there's not really like... Um, there's not really like a lot of stuff that I would like. So I thought, I thought it was a lot more carousel, like um, theme park kind of theme, but there's actually a lot of variety and definitely better with the sizes because before in ephemera packs, we got a ton of large pieces, 
but they definitely scaled down a lot in that aspect. So there's smaller pieces and doodads and all that, but there's also big one, bigger ones too. There's a nice variety. So that was really awesome that they are realizing that and hearing people, what they're saying. The big ones are nice, but when it's all big ones, and it's like, well, I could have just had the like cut apart sheet or something. So I stapled those on the top there, and now I'm just taking some of the chipboard from the carousel collection and placing it here and there. Um, trying to bring in more of that black because I have black on the button and black in the top left and black in one of the tags and in some of the background papers. So I thought I should include a little bit of a little bit more black throughout to kind of bring it all together. And I also needed a little bit more gold too, I thought. So I put um, a sticker on the left and on the right where it says on the word sweet. And now I'm going to use some black sprays from uh, Tattered Angels. I got it from Oh, what's it called? Tuesday morning. And uh, just blotching that kind of everywhere in a line. And here are some close-ups of all the different layers. And then some pictures. Yeah, so that's my final layout. Let me know what you think. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.